Hi, good morning, North Beach kids. Today, I want to talk to you about the dragon tail butterfly. As you can see, the butterfly, this butterfly has a very long tail. It kind of looks like a dragon. That's why it's called dragon tail butterfly. So like all butterflies, they go through the process of metamorphosis. Remember that very long word? Our caterpillars are probably going through it right now. They start out as a little tiny caterpillar. They eat and eat and eat, and then they build a cocoon or chrysalis and then they stay in there for about two weeks and then they become this beautiful adult butterfly. So we'll talk more about that and what this caterpillar looks like before it turns into this pretty dragon tail butterfly. So the one I'm talking about today is this one. This one has black wings and blue, like a little bit of blue stripes and a very long tail. This butterfly is called the green dragon tail butterfly. Green starts with the letter G. Can you spell green with me? It goes G-R-E-E-N. Green dragon tail butterfly. That's the name of this really pretty butterfly. I don't know why they call it a green dragon tail butterfly when it kind of looks blue and black. But it's very cool and very pretty. And it has a very long tail. And we'll talk more about why this they have this tail and what it does. Um, these guys, these drag green dragon tail butterflies, they don't live in the United States. They live in Southeast Asia. Um, so this is a map of the world. We live in this red circle here. That's where NBK is, where San Francisco is, where we all live. And, um, the Southeast Asia is... Where this blue star is, that's where the dragon tail butterflies live. That's very, very, very far from us. So if we were to go from NBK, San Francisco, all the way to the dragon tail butterflies, if we fly in on an airplane, it would take us about 18 to 20 hours. That's almost a whole day to travel by plane to all the way to go see these butterflies. Would you travel that far to see these butterflies? I would. That's really cool. Um, Southeast Asia is um, right under the country China. And it's where Vietnam is, Cambodia is. That's where Teacher Chasey went to go see the elephants. So there's a lot of really cool uh, animals and insects and bugs there that we've never seen before in the United States because they don't live where we are. Where we are, it's a little too cold for them. Um, in Southeast Asia, it's warmer and they like the warmer climate. So that's where they live. There's none in America. So it's kind of special to see. So like all butterflies, these guys start out as little tiny caterpillars. That when they are caterpillars, they are green. They're all green and have little black spots on them. They're different than um, the caterpillars we have at school because their head is a little bit bigger than the rest of their body. So it's kind of a little bulge. The caterpillars we have at school are all one shape, kind of like little worms, little caterpillar, fuzzy caterpillars. These guys are not as fuzzy. They're a little smoother. They're all green. They, get, they can blend in with the leaves. They can camouflage and have little black spots on them. Um, so they spend most of their time eating, like all caterpillars. They eat and eat and eat, and they eat mostly leaves. They eat and eat until they get very, very big and fat, just like the caterpillars we have at school. And then they build their chrysalis. So when the caterpillars get big enough, they find a leaf, the branch, and they hang on to it. And then they build their chrysalis around them. And they still, still stay in there for 10 to 12 days before they emerge as the dragon tail butterflies. And what makes these dragon tail butterflies so special is that they have a very, very long tail. So there is a YouTube video of these butterflies flying and you can see their um, tails in action. I'll put a link in the description box and you, maybe you guys can click in there and watch these guys fly because it's very cool. So there is a purpose for these long tails. Um, the tails are not just for it to look pretty and cool. They are very, very useful. Their tails serve as a rudder, um, kind of like this. This is uh, the end of a boat, and that's a long piece of uh, wood, or sometimes it's metal. 
and it helps steer the boat. That's called a rudder. So when you move the, when you have a steering wheel on the boat, if you move it or a lever, when you move that, it helps move the boat left and right. It moves the boat and steers it for you. It steers it back and forth, and it, um, and the dragonfly when it flaps is, uh, tails very fast. It rotates and it helps guide them and helps them move back and forth just like the boats do. So, not only do those um, tails look very very pretty, it's also very useful. Um, and you can see that its wings are kind of clear and there's blue on it. It's a very pretty butterfly. It's very um, unique and not a lot of butterflies look like it. They are actually part of the swallowtail family. So what is a swallowtail butterfly? A swallowtail butterfly looks like this. Um, it has spots, it's different colors. We've talked about the monarch butterfly and the monarch butterfly is the orange and black butterfly that um, we get to see here. Um, the swallowtail butterfly, a lot of them live in warmer climates, not in the um, United States where it's not as hot. Uh, they live in the, in the um, forests, in warmer forests, and their colors are very unique. This one is black and, and blue, and this one has um, little two little spots at the back of their wings. Do you know what those spots are for? They kind of look like eyeballs. So those eyeballs uh, on the back of the end of their wings is so it's to trick birds and their predators. So that's a way that they adapted. They, instead of a, a bird attacking its own head, it'll, the bird might think that those eyes on the back of its wings are its head. So instead of attacking its head, it'll try to get the back of it. And usually when it attacks the back, it can fly away. Because if a bird comes straight at its head, it's very hard for them to escape. But if they are attacking its tail, it has a chance to fly away. So that's a type of adaptation that they've um, learned or had. Um, it helps them get away from things that are trying to eat it. So this butterfly is part of the swallowtail uh, family, is a swallowtail butterfly. And here is another butterfly that's part of that family. This one is another swall another type of swallowtail butterfly. It's a yellow and black butterfly and like the other one, this one has two little circles at, in its back wings and those are supposed to look like eyes too and those are supposed to help it camouflage or act like a, some uh, the eyes of another animal so that it can fly away when it gets the chance to. So let's look at this butterfly again. It's very pretty, the dragon tail butterfly. Um, it's, it eats nectar just like the other butterflies, nectar, and it rubs the pollen against its wings. We haven't talked about that yet, so that's a very important job for butterflies. So butterflies, when they go in to drink their nectar, usually they rub the pollen against their bodies. And what that does is when the pollen gets rubbed onto their bodies and they fly away, they'll spread that pollen to other flowers. And when it does this, its pollen has little seeds in there. So when they're flying away and it spreads the pollen throughout the uh, flower field, throughout the garden, it helps new flowers grow. So that's a very important job that butterflies have. So not only do they... Um, live where these flowers are so that's why we tell you to not pick the flowers because but that's where butterflies get their food and where they lives where it lives um, butterflies have a very important job of uh, helping new flowers grow from the pollen that gets rubbed onto their body when they're drinking the nectar so that's why we tell you every day at the park don't pick the flowers because that's where the butterflies live and that's where they get their food from. That's where a lot of insects live. So when you pick the f those flowers, they don't get to get their food from that anymore. And they need to find somewhere else. If you want to see pretty butterflies in the garden, then you got to leave the flowers alone. I know they're very, very pretty and you want to pick them and you want to give them to your mommies. But they serve a very important job for insects. So yeah, this is a kind of a short shorter circle for you guys but these are very cool and I really want you guys to go check out these butterflies flying so click the link in the description box and you can f see uh, these guys fly there is a Japanese um, etymologist that is very um, interested in these butterflies and 
they did a video. They did a video of these guys flying in slow motion, and you can see their tails moving in circles very, very fast to help them fly. So go check out the video because it's very cool. And I'll see you guys again in our morning circle.